just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left. Of the guy, I, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so, uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect, I will leaving Christians like you know myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. All right, going to do a quick video showing Brian Gunlinger actually mimicking the angry yelling and just the overall angry spirit that is displayed by the new IFB cult leader, Stephen Anderson. You see, it's it's very interesting to notice how Brian Dunlinger's little group that he runs displays a lot of the same attributes as Stephen Anderson's cult. If you go against the leader, Brian Dunlinger, his followers just come down on you like a ton of bricks. And I have screenshots of a lot of wicked comments. His, uh, you know, Brian Dunlinger's followers have left me saying all kinds of nasty stuff that actually mimic the kind of anger displayed by a lot of the new IFB cultists who also have been at the receiving end of some of their comments as well. I could show their comments side by side and just, you know, they, they're no different. Brian Dillinger's cult is no different than Stephen Anderson's cult, plain and simple. But here's the clip of, uh, Brian, here's, here's this clip of one of Brian's sermons where he is just yelling and ranting and doing exactly what he used to condemn a lot of the IFB preachers for doing, the sensational type of speaking. Check this out. People have these weird notions, you know, well, you shouldn't say those things. God's just not willing that any should perish. Yeah, but that all should come to repentance. You know what's going to happen when God damns these people to hell? We're just supposed to stand around and just bite our fingernails and say, oh God, oh, why did that happen? I see these pastors die. Praise the Lord! Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus, for destroying that wicked devil. Now some people have a chance to truly get saved. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for killing another wicked, lying, false prophet. Well, that's just the wrong attitude. Do you think God allowed them to die and he just went, oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, I didn't think they would die. He killed them. He knew why he killed them. And he sent them to hell. Praise the Lord that Billy Graham is dead. I'm thankful that that wicked servant of Rome is dead and gone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord that Rick Warren has had to step down from his satanic cult that he was running. I pray God drops that disgusting minister of Satan. Goes to the Davos conference that planned this whole scandemic thing. Wicked minister of Satan. CFR member. And Lord knows what else that guy's part of. I pray God drops him dead. He knows enough of the gospel. He knows enough of the Bible that he could have gotten saved and walked away from that whole thing and come out and repudiated it and everything else. But he's not about to because he's a minister of Satan. He's a servant of Rome. But I should be nice to him. And I should just, you know, I hate him because God hates him. Yeah, no different than what you'd see from Steven Anderson in this clip right here. Check this out. And listen, Keith Gomez, your church is filled with idiots. You, congratulations on your church. I know you think that your church is so big and you're so such a big name or whatever in fundamentalism your church is filled with retards keith gomez because if anybody in your church had a brain they would have heard that wicked blasphemy they would have got up and walked out or better yet they would have stood up and rebuked the demon sam gip for blaspheming christ in such a wicked way and anybody who has Sam Gipp preach or listens to his preaching after they hear this clip is just as evil and wicked and demonic as he is. Yeah, 
That's Brian Dillinger just mimicking Steven Anderson. That's not the first time he's done this. That's just one clip I could have picked out of many. I have a whole folder of him just, you know, of clips I've taken of him just simply yelling and screaming and ranting, like just no different than what you see from Steven Anderson. He's no different. He's become essentially the kind of uh, cult leader that he's always said he's not. Okay, just want to read a couple verses of scripture on the matter. Proverbs 22, verse 24 says... Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go. Proverbs 29, 22. An angry man stirreth up strife, and a furious man aboundeth in transgression. That's pretty much Brian Dillinger in a nutshell. And Ecclesiastes 7, verse 9. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Again, Brian Dillinger in a nutshell. Okay, Mimicking the same kind of sensational yelling and screaming and ranting of Stephen Anderson. Brian Dellinger is becoming the, the, the kind of Pope, you know, Popish cult leader that he's always said he's against and always said he's always, you know, continually denied that he's, oh, I'm not, I'm not a cult leader. I'm not, you know, I'm not like a Pope. Well, he's no different because if you disagree with him, you're now lost, essentially. That's, that's, that's kind of the vibe you get. You got this wicked devil named uh, Phil Rendon, who essentially just thinks that anybody who speaks against Brian Dellinger is lost. I've got a comment from him saying that I'm lost, essentially for speaking against Brian Dellinger. So, yeah. Don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.